Morning kids. We got a little treat today. This is polycast acrylic, an acrylic sheet. Not only is it an acrylic sheet, but it's also rated to be bullet resistant. So we're gonna check that out today. This was provided by uh, Repurpose Materials. This is just a tester sheet. And this brown film on here, this is what comes, this is how it comes. There's brown paper on both sides. I left it on there just so I can show you how that peels off. And as you can see, when it peels off, you get a really clear, crystal clear image through there once you peel off this uh, backing, masking, covering, protective layer film. So I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna get all of this film taken off and we're gonna test this out. All right, just a little up close on removing this uh, film. Now this panel does not come in this frame. I built this frame just to hold it and house it so that there wasn't much flex when we do our testing. So it's just this acrylic panel that's inside of this wooden frame. But as you can see, it's got this brown film on both sides. And it's kind of difficult to get started, but once you get it started, you can just kind of keep the motion going and just peel. Just peel, peel, peel. And I'm going to have to do this on both sides. So this is one side of it, but it's got this. These are also heavy. I think this one single panel is 24 pounds. Just this small panel. But as you see, we're going to have to do that on both sides. And it's a little difficult initially but once you get it going it kind of just peels off so just wanted to give you a up close on how that works again i'm gonna get it all peeled off and we'll come back to it let's a quick look at the setup we got and again at this glass and be assured that this glass is is clearer than my patients so there's there are uh there's some kind of they're glue residue, steel pieces of the um, the backing or backer on there. But once it's uh, been removed, I'm putting a stick behind there. And you can see my reflection there, but that's the glass. It's, it's crystal clear. So, we got it propped up here. Let's try it out. What good is a science experiment without facts and figures? So, just so you guys can know, the range was approximately, let's just say, call it 15 yards, right? Uh, for the 22 was Thunderbolt 40 grain round nose, uh, 40 grain round nose. 95 grain full metal jacket 380 auto is what we use. For the 38 special, it was Norma 158 grain, and it's rated at 968 feet per second. Uh, most likely not doing that out of a two-inch barrel. What do we shoot next? Nine mil, just regular herders, 158, one, 115 grain. 10 mil was 180 grain Aguila. Again, you can get some hotter 10 mil, so for for reference, you guys can see what we actually used. The 44 Special we used was this Black Hills 210 grain. It's got no F... Can you see that? Yeah, it's got no FPS rating on it. But we used 210 grain, and it's solid. That's the one we used. Let's not get off track here. 45 coat we use Hornady 185 grain it's FTX projectile 
Our 556 that we use was a 55 grain full metal jacket rated at 3180 feet per second. For our slugs, it was two and three quarter one ounce slug rated at and 12 gauge slug rated at 1600 feet per second. So just for the science and math, if you guys want to do the math yourselves as far as uh, you know, foot pounds of energy or what you, know, well, you wouldn't know without knowing velocity, but you'll have a, a reference of the type of ammunition we used and the uh, energy it's, it's producing. Primarily that 10 mil because that can vary a lot. The 45 Coke can vary in power levels as well as the 44 Special. All right, just for reference, so we know what tools we're working with ballistically. We uh, for 22, we're going to use a Ruger LCP 2 and 22 uh, 380 ACP, a Remington RM 380. 38 Special will be a Taurus 856 with a two-inch barrel. Nine millimeter Taurus GX4. Uh, Ten millimeter is a high point. 10 mil and 44 special out of a Rossi 720. If we have time and space, maybe we'll try out this Rossi Brawler that is in 45 coat. Um, here are our bullets for reference 22 and from left to right, you've got 22, 380 ACP. 38 special, 9 millimeter, 10 millimeter. That is 45 Colt. That's a 5.56 and a 12 gauge slug. So we'll see if we have uh, time and space for the rifle and slug rounds. Let's get to it. Okay, just a quick PSA. As we're doing this, we are being safe. Always remember your firearm safety rules uh, we have eye protection ear protection we're firing at a uh, safe distance will be roughly 15 yards away additionally we know our target and what's beyond it we're firing at a downward slope so any projectiles that would pass through are gonna actually go into the, go into the terrain and to the dirt behind it so anytime you're doing anything like this be safe we're on a private, enclosed, safe range. Be safe. Eye protection, ear protection. Know you're targeting what's beyond it. All right, we're going hot with 22 long rifle. This is 40 grain round nose. I'm aiming for the far left, center far left. Hopefully we can get this all done in one take. I'm gonna be slightly at a uh, angle to the target so that I'm not firing straight on to it. I think that was a good hit. Let's go check it out. First hit with 22 long rifle you can barely even see it. It is my goodness you can't see that. It's right there. Which I guess is a good thing. That you can't see it. There you go. You can slightly see the little splatter pattern. Which is there. Over there. There. So there's no no cracks. Uh, there's just some. Just a splatter pattern. And some shoddy camera work. That's about it. Uh, looks like it was a good hit. But nothing. I can feel feel I can feel the spot you can see it small little dent excuse the nail but it's right there all right we moved the camera up so hopefully you can see the impacts better we're gonna start from left to right um, we're gonna run 388 CP and run on up the list. 38 special, 9 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 44 special, 44 coat. 
I'm gonna step back to a safe distance. Start with 388 CP. Let's let's check those out first. To be clear, this is rated for uh, nine millimeter projectiles coming from a pistol. That's what it's rated for. Right now, as it stands, none of our pistol rounds were ever able to get to it. Granted, that ten millimeter is some. I think it's some Aguila 10 millimeter, so it's not the most spicy. We're gonna jump over to the rifle rounds. This is just gonna be a 55 grain uh, 5.56 coming out of 16 inch barrel. I don't know, guys. I think that might may have gone through. Let's check it out. No bueno. 5.56 five, punch through there uh, fairly easily. And that's just the speed. Speed in that light fast projectile. I'm going to take you guys off and let you take a look at the back. Then we'll hit it with 12 gauge. Alright, I got you in my hand. So you might shake a little bit. Got my pointy stick. Over here in the corner where you can barely see. Over there is a 22 long rifle. It barely made any imprint. We back up. That is that was 38 special, 388 CP, 9 mil, 10 mil, 44 special, 45 long coat. I'm gonna move you around to the back. You can barely see that, but I'm running my hand along the back of this. And nothing has penetrated. You can kind of get an angle on this. Ah, focus. I'll show you some bit of depth. This glass is so clear it's just a reflection. But there's absolutely no pass through. Now if we jump over here and again let me show you this. So that's 10 mil hitting the acrylic panel. And that's also 10 mil hitting the 2x4. Jump to the back of that. We're going we're gonna to get you where you can see. Wait a minute. So I'm going to figure out how this camera works. There we go. That's 10 mil coming through that 2x4. Right below that is that 10 mil impact, but it's clear, uh, smooth, no pass through. Now, and we focus. That's our 5.56, five, and we were 15 yards away. We get the front of this. I don't even want to touch that. It's like I'm going to get cut. But it's a very small hole, but it, it zipped right through it. If you see the back of this. camera work it is completely blown out back I'm sticking my finger inside that's blown out now <laughs> to the integrity of the panel it's not the whole panel didn't shatter and even with these other pistol rounds as you can see it's, it's multi-hit capable just not with 5.56 five, um, this empty space, I'm going to try and get far over here to the right and we'll shoot with a slug.
Well, kids, that looks like the end of today's fun. What did we learn today? Rifles beat pistols. So just a thank you to Repurpose Materials. Uh, website is repurposematerialsinc.com. Uh, 